Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I'm going to take you through the practical use of the Force Cut ADI. This type of project is something that I use the plasma a lot for. Uh, it's cutting brackets and tabs off of a rear end uh, so we can set up the brackets for a four link or a truss system or change up how we're going to mount the, uh, the rear axle. So let's get to it. Got the machine dialed in to about 48 amps. I'm running about 100 pounds of pressure on the gauge. Once I push the button and uh, stuff starts to flow, we're looking at a drop to about 90, 95 pounds. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough cut out these brackets, make sure that uh, the piece that I want to keep, which is the actual housing, uh, stays uh, unaffected by the heat and that I don't cut down into it. Once I got a real clean pass, a real quick clean pass done, I'll take the hammer and just kind of knock some things loose, the stuff that I missed. Now that we've got our bracket removed, I'll come in here with the plasma and I'll just kind of do a finish cut, just try to take off a little bit more of the the slag and a little bit more of the weld, so it makes the finished sanding and the finished grinding a lot easier to do. Uh, this is where that pilot arc really comes in handy, because uh, it'll keep it lit even without being in contact, and kind of allow me to get into places normally I couldn't. We made real quick work of that. Uh, that was about a quarter and a three-eighths inch weld, and just blew right through it. A job like this with a four and a half inch angle grinder would have taken somewhere between two and a half and three hours to surgically get in there and make sure you're not cutting into the axle, cut the welds and get the hammer and kind of knock some stuff off and get to it. With the plasma unit, uh, we jumped through this job in right around 15 minutes. Uh, we do have probably another 15 to 20 minutes uh, of sanding and uh, grinding just to kind of take off some of the slag and make a nice clean axle housing so we can uh, start to truss it. Uh, so plasma is a really really neat process and uh, I highly recommend the uh, Longevity Force Cut ADI. Uh, this is a high voltage start unit so I do use it uh, in unison with my CNC uh, plasma table as well as I do connect the hand torch to it and uh, cut brackets off, trailer hitches, big things. Uh, this machine's rated, I think, at right at an inch and a half. Uh, let's call it about an inch and a quarter fully operational with that pilot arc. It allows you to get in there and really uh, knock some jobs out. So thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. And I'm Tim Roll, and I'll catch you here next time.